Hey guys, Chris from Provo Beast Audio Insulation, and in today's video, we're replacing the rear door speakers on this 2019 Dodge Ram. Now, in this install, we're going to show you how to remove the door panel and factory speaker. Then we'll head over to the bench where the speakers we're installing, including the speaker and the harness adapter. We'll come back here to get everything reinstalled. Let's get started. Our factory speaker here is a six by nine coaxial. Um, there's no other tweeter in the door, it's all in one. And so we can actually replace it with the same size six by nine. And we're gonna show you some recommendations in the description. Now, additionally, our truck does not have the factory upgraded premium audio sound system. It's just the base audio. If you have the premium audio sound system, we'll make notes about your specific install because it may limit the type of speaker that you can install to be compatible with that factory amplifier. So let's go ahead and get started by pulling off our door panel here. Now we have a little cover here that we need to pull off. Dirt it here, then I'm gonna grab a panel tool. Kinda of work this off here. There's a big clip down at the bottom. You don't wanna break it. There's that little clip there. That's going to expose a 10 millimeter screw. Next here, there's also a little panel. This one's a lot easier to pull off. Again, it's going to expose two 10 millimeter bolts. All right, so with those out of the way, the next part here is actually probably the more difficult. These pins are super tight. Um, they're tough to get out, but the whole panel is held on with clips, even across the top. It doesn't lift off by any means. This clips all the way around the door. We'll usually start kind of in this corner and work our way around um, using a panel tool. Just don't try to scratch the paint. Uh, we have our panel popping tool that will help us. Um, but essentially, once that's out of the way, the door panel can come free. So with your panel off here, you have a couple things we need to disconnect. Grab my pick tool. There's two tabs holding in the inner side. There's two tabs. Basically you need to pinch these in so it can slip out and then you unhook it. Pull out your little door lock here. I just push this out from behind so I can get to the harness. Just like that. So that gives us great access to our speaker. There are six millimeter bolts. Go ahead and remove those. Disconnect your harness. Just like that. Okay, so with our speaker out and out of the way, let's head to the bench. Show you the parts that we're gonna need for our install. All right, so here at the bench, the parts that we're using in today's install, first and foremost are the new speakers that we're going with. It's the Alpine Type S. This is the S-S69. Uh, these are the coaxial versions, meaning the tweeter is mounted within the center of our mid-base. Um, the nice thing is, these are basically identical in depth and size, and will bolt up without any speaker bracket adapter needed today for the rear doors. Speaker harnesses here, we're gonna go with these Metra or Red Wolf uh, harness adapters everything comes in pairs we've already done the passenger side um, so you'll have two speakers and two harnesses when you order these in uh, but we'll link everything here as well as other recommendation for speakers down in the description of the video pretty simple here essentially this harness adapter will plug into the terminals here on the back of the speaker and then this guy plugs into the harness found in the door now we like to high temperature test tape these get a little more protection in the door We'll loom this up, head back to the car, get everything installed. All right, so we're back here at the car. Let's go ahead and reinstall our new speaker. Here we go. 
are. All in. Now, it's always a good idea to double check and test to make sure everything's working properly. Uh, once you confirm it is, go ahead and reassemble the door panel in reverse order. That's about it for this install. Now, if you have any questions on what we did here, go ahead and post a comment below. Additionally, if you want to see how we did the front door speakers, uh, along with the tweeters in the dash, we'll link that video in the description. And we have an amp and sub video also on this trim truck. So we'll link that video as well, along with all the parts that we used in today's install in case you want to pick some up for yourself. That's about it. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to hit the like button if you liked what you saw. And don't forget to subscribe. We post great content on the channel all the time. We will see you in the next video.